Hi, my name is James Morrissey. Um, I'm a filmmaker based in South Wales, and I've got another YouTube channel called Mad Science Films. That's where we talk more in depth about independent filmmaking and our love for horror and cameras and all that filmmaking kind of world. This is more my personal channel where I just um, mess around with my own personal cameras and lenses and put up short little videos uh, for shits and giggles, basically. Um, as some of you may have seen on my channel, I'm a big GH2 fan. Um, but yeah, this is the Lumix GH2. I'm a big fan of this camera and a lot of my videos recently have been about this camera. Um, I did one not too long ago called uh, Lumix GH2, uh, 50 frames per second, upscale to 1080p. So the GH2 camera cord, um, 50 frames per second, but only at 720p. So through a little couple of tweaks, I was able to upscale that to 1080p. It's very simple, very easy to do. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how I did that, how I slowed it down and then export it in HD. So let's have a look. All right, so I'm on my computer running Adobe Premiere. Um, I, I could do this in DaVinci as well, but I think a lot of you probably use Premiere Pro. The, the way I'm gonna do it pretty much can be um, done for other editing programs. So each are a little different, but the general, the, the gist of what I'm gonna show you, you can do on another uh, editing program. So I've got Adobe Premiere Pro open. I've got a project. I'm gonna import some footage, all right? So I'm gonna port my GH2 footage, which was shot at 720p. 50 frames per second. So let's find a clip. Um, oh, so I'll show you where the the footage is on your SD card because the GH2 is a fucking pain in the ass to navigate. So on your SD card, it's the private folder, ABCHD, BDMV, and then stream. And that's where all your clips are going to be. All right. So let's find a clip. Let's pick this one. All right. So as you can see here, frame rate is 50 fps so we're going to right click on it go to modify interpret footage click on that and at the top there you'll see frame rate uh, it's selected use frame rate from files but we don't want to do that we want to change the frame rate and uh, we're going to change this to good old 24 frames per second which is you know cinema uh, frame rates blah 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 press ok um, so we've transcoded, we've changed the frame rates from 50 to 24 on our clip, and now we're gonna uh, create a sequence to add the clip to. So right click in the project window, anywhere there in the middle, uh, new item, sequence. All right, we've got a whole list here. I'm gonna go into DNHD, and I'm gonna pick 1080 24, and I'm gonna pick the first option there. And we'll just name this uh, GH2 scale <laughs> I messed that up didn't I right GH2 upscale that'll do all right there's our sequence we're gonna drag our clip over we're not gonna change the sequence settings all right so we're gonna keep existing settings and there's our clip it's gonna run in slow motion I'm gonna mute the audio because it's gonna sound all weird and slow down so if you just play nice and slow uh, but as you can see, it doesn't quite fit the frame. So we're gonna upscale it. And to do that, we need to make sure the clip is selected. So if I click off, if I click on, you can see it's like white around there. So make sure it's selected. Next to the project tab, go to FX control, click on that. Then in the motion, if I click on motion, you can see the blue square around the actual frame of the footage. And we're gonna go to scale. And we're gonna ramp this up to 150, I think. Should fit nice and snug, so 150, just type it in. Boom, there we go. Um, that looks pretty good. Now, I shot this with hacked uh, firmware, so the bit rate, there's a lot more information in the footage, and I shot it with a Sigma 1835, which is quite a nice sharp lens, so my thinking is that if I do it that way, when I do upscale it, because of the 
more information in the footage and it's quite a sharp lens the overall upscaling it won't degrade that much in quality um there is fancy software you can get out there and i may look into that actually where you can um use this software and its algorithms and the way it processes the video that it does improve the quality once you upscale it but i haven't got that software so i can't show you that but this is just um a couple of things to keep in mind if you're going to attempt to do this yourself um hacking the camera it does help and using good lenses also helps so um i'm gonna try and shoot choose a better shot because we got a bit of slow-mo action here if i just take it back start the video clip there and then they're just after the rock splashes so you get a you get a sense of the slow motion in action boom let's find another clip and it's easy so you can drag all your clips into the project window and then just right click on all of them highlight them all right click and then interpret the footage or you can do them individually if you want um, so right click import let's get another shot uh, what we're going to use yeah, let's get a shot of my nephew it's quite a static shot so i don't have to worry about no, that's not my shot okay let's just take this before we do right click modify into the footage change the 24 boom let's open it back up take the shot we want chuck it next to the other clip now we've already upscaled it so what we're going to do is just right click the clip before which has already been upscaled copy and then paste the attributes okay make sure motion is selected and then boom or we could just go in and just type in 150 um, in the motion section of the effects tab all right, so they're both upscaled. Now we can tweak them a little bit. So we're gonna create a adjustment layer. So right click, new item adjustment layer. Uh, it's 1080p, so 24 frames per second. So the right settings we want, they match our clip. Take the adjustment layer, drag it over the two shots there. Just expand it out a bit. If you can hear a fucking washing machine going on, I do, uh, I do apologize for that. Hopefully the audio is picking me up. Um, now we can go into effects. And we can sharpen it just a smidge. All right, so sharpen, just search for sharpen, go down under, the, under blur and sharpen, you'll see the sharpen effect. Drag that onto the adjustment layer. Go into the effects tab at the top. You'll see then sharpen here. Um, let's look at the other shot. Actually, let's choose a different section of this video. Yeah, let's use that bit. All right, that's a nice shot. Um, that doesn't look too bad, I gotta be honest. Right, let's just go back up and we can increase this maybe by five. That doesn't look too bad. Add a bit of color. Uh, let's just do a basic one. Let's just, a bit of contrast. Let's just reduce the highlights a bit. Crush the blacks a little bit shadows let's do a curve it comes up yeah the warmer I mean that doesn't look too bad does it so, yeah, you can play around with the image and do whatever the fuck you want to do with it, to be honest. But in terms of quality, it's not too bad. Um, but it's a simple process. So once you're happy with what you've got in your sequence, then it's just a matter of exporting. So Control M uh, to export. And then uh, if it's good up on YouTube, then just go to the presets select YouTube full HD uh, maximum render quality 
Make sure your exporter is full quality. And there you go, to be honest, that's pretty pretty straightforward. So, um, yeah, any questions, then uh, leave them in the comments down below. Please consider subscribing, and that's it for me. Cheers.